Hey guys, it's Everything Cards. And sorry I haven't been uploading in a while. Uh, my last upload was a tutorial for Direct Hobsey, the Ace Trick. And after I uploaded it, some people left some comments saying I had done a tutorial in the past. And I was like, what? Then I looked through my videos and I had done a tutorial on already. Uh, stupid me. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. I could have sworn I hadn't done a tutorial, so I thought I would, and I filmed it, and I uploaded it, being the smart person I am. Okay, so I deleted that video. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a complete false shuffle called the Zero Shuffle. Many of you probably already know it, uh, but for those of you who don't, it's a very useful shuffle for those routines that you want to keep the entire deck in order. Um, instead of just like the top card or the bottom card. So yeah, let's get right into it. The Zaro Shuffle itself, this is exposed by the way, but you'll still get the picture. This is what the Zaro Shuffle looks like. I'll just give the cards a quick shuffle. And of course the cards stay in order. Okay? Now... The Zara Shuffle is based off of the Slip Cut. The Slip Cut is very easy to do. It's just uh, like you're going to do a normal Riffle Shuffle, so you take your strong hand and you pull the bottom packet over like you would normally do a Riffle Shuffle. It's basically that, for one with one difference. You're, with your pointer finger, you're going to slide off the top card when you cut it. Like so, okay? Uh, that's the beginning, that's the slip cut. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to shuffle the packets together, obviously. Um, but you want to do it just by the, the very corners. You don't want to do the entire deck, like, you don't want to shuffle like this. That's very hard to do the Zaro shuffle that way. So have the decks at an angle, like so, and then just shuffle the corners together, okay? And make sure that you land this card on top. What card you want to stay on top, you put on top. Uh, and since my deck is in order, it's the Ace of Hearts. So now you're in this position. The cards are interlaced. Uh, it is fair at this point. If you want, you could pause and show that it is fair, but you don't really need to. Uh, next, you're going to push these two cards forward. Um, as you do this, to kind of cover it, you're going to pivot the two packs like this. What that is going to do is going to um, un-interlace the packets together. Um, and then from here, you just lift up this packet and put it on top. Okay? Some tips for this move. Um, don't direct a lot of attention to the deck. If you are just like talking... Uh, to your spectators, um, it'll be a lot harder to notice. You'll say, just like, I'm going to give the deck a quick shuffle, and you can do the Zaro shuffle while keeping eye contact and conversation with your spectators. Another thing, when doing the shuffle, when you get to here, square the packets up kind of messily, kind of as if the the cards are mixed up and messed up. Don't do it completely clean, because usually shuffles don't go completely clean. Um, shuffles usually don't look like that. Shuffles, real shuffles, are kind of messy, like that, okay? Um, but the Zara shuffle should be, oh, forgot my slip cut. The Zara shuffle should be, uh, kind of messy like that. Okay? I am by no means a master at this. No means. Um, but some people are. Jason England on Theory 11 is just insane at this move. It looks exactly like a normal riffle shuffle. And once you practice it a lot and become an expert, it, it does. You want your spectator's eyes to be above the deck. That's a very important thing. Because you can see from this angle, you can catch it every time. Okay? That's the Zaro Shuffle. Uh, I hope you guys have fun with this move. I'm going to start doing more tutorials on just uh, simple moves 
instead of just for tutorials and flourishes. And I'm sort of at a low point uh, in the card trick range. I don't have a lot of card tricks that I'm thinking of performing and doing tutorials on, but I am doing more flourishing. So look forward to more flourishing tutorials and performances, perhaps some on the wire. Okay? Stay tuned, guys. See you later.